Hi, how are you? It's Travis Amir, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 3. Last episode, we did a Greater Rift 33, and we also collected some gems and got our Paragon level to level 101. And I forgot something that is pretty important, guys, is the abilities that we get from Kanai's Cube. So we collected a couple of legendaries last episode. We got this weapon called Balance, and it increases the damage of Tempest, Tempest Rush, which is the ability we lose like all the time, by 535%. And when your Tempest Rush hits three or fewer enemies, it gains 100% critical chance. So we want this that effect. So we're going to fill this up here. And we are going to transmute it. And now we have uh, the effect. That should increase our damage by quite a bit. And then we'll do the same thing with the Stone of Jordan. Each of your... Elemental's damage bonus is equal to your highest static elemental bonus to skill. Really, I just want to get a, an effect going here. And then after we do this, we'll have to collect uh, more materials. And there we go. Third power cubed. Nice. We are ready to go. Let's see what dropped here. They never listen. They never listen. The small minds that surround me ignore my greatness, and then kill me. First the Horodrum, those plodding fools. Then the Nephilim. Imagine if that one had listened. We would have angels and demons for servants. We'd be riding them like horses. Perhaps I'm being unkind. It's You're not riding that their them minds like are so small. It's just that mine is so large. He is a genius. So let's uh, try level 36, guys. We'll see if we can do it. This could Your be pretty tough, but... Give it a try. We're doing damage, which is good. I'm not too sure if we'll survive this. Great right now. Doing great on time. Clearly that what that effect we got helped me quite a bit. Power pile on nice. May be strong, Losing but I damage. will not stand down. Maybe we'll do some bounties today. There's some stuff we need to collect. Feel the wrath of Need some more materials for our, our nice cube. We should try to get our, uh, our Ring of Royal Grand Tour. I believe it comes from the county chest. Get out of that. I'll be telling stories about that for a while. Oh, we're just completely wrecking this rip. The gods track through me! Where we gotta go next? On oh, south? Where we haven't been. Yeah, maybe we can do 10. I'm just worried about getting pretty wrecked. Feel the wrath of Yitar! Like a one shot. The thing is, we can't get one shot because we will proc. But it won't take much more damage to uh, finish us off after that. You are defeated. Here. Really fast rift. You have trust. I am skilled at clarifying gems. Alright, so let's get the last level of this gem. I think that's now maxed. They keep going up. 
can keep upgrading it. Should we just keep upgrading it? What's the new gem that we got? Monster kills Grant experience. That's okay. It's not, it's not that great for, for end game, but if you're leveling up or trying to get more Paragon, it's good. All right, so let's see what we, we got. Need to go back. Go back to town. Yours. My understanding grows. <laughs> Interesting neck. A lot of survivability on it. We lose some damage though. And then we got a legendary key. Transmuting Kanai's Cube to open a portal to an echoing nightmare. Whatever the heck that is. Should we check that out? You know, put it in here. We just transmute it. Alright. You have access to a wondrous artifact of old. And that's the city what is to dark do. and ruined, yet you look lovelier than ever. What the heck is an echoing nightmare? Hopefully we don't die. There's a pile on here. Hopefully we don't get overwhelmed. It is not ready yet. This is Torment 6, so should be able to handle it. How long does this last? Could have been a bad idea. Imagine this like never ends. Just waves and waves and waves and waves. This fight is over. Oh my god. <laughs> All that bolted. This is wild, I've never done this before. Bolt and everything. Oh my gosh, dude. This is brutal. It's clearly not for uh there's no health either. There's the we're getting like literally no health. I guess less leveling up is it's one of the only ways we can Stay alive. This is wild. I'm not too sure if this is a good idea to come into us on hardcore. Is it what's the highest tier? When does it end? Your Look at all. Oh! We're gonna die, dude. I gotta get out of here. We're getting overwhelmed. I think you gotta just run around. What does this do? Break beneath the endless tide. Why are we not overwhelmed yet? Okay, we've been overwhelmed. Life's path becomes clearer. <laughs> it's good that we got overwhelmed. My strides grow longer. Wow, look at all the stuff we got. We could have went further. I'm just a, a big, a big baby. But that's that's, a, that's an interesting event. Kind of scary too. That's a lot of elites that you're dealing with. Look at all the XP we got from that too. Like, that's insane. Cool event. All right, see what we got. We got something better for Kanai's cube here. Getting hit increases your armor by 50%, but reduces your movement speed by 15%. That's not that great. Bazoo bands of justice. These are uh, the same gloves that we currently have. Less dexterity, but it has the it has the crit chance, which is pretty damn nice. 
more damage. A lot, we lose a lot of toughness, though. I think we'll hold on to the ones that we got. And we got the Bindings of the Lesser Gods. Enemies hit by your Cyclone Strike. That we don't have. Increase the damage of your Mystic Ally. That's, this is pretty good for your Mystic Ally set. So we'll hold on to that. Your items become indestructible. Fists of Thunder. This is another set. Corrupted Ashbringer. That's from WoW. <laughs> That's hilarious. Chance on kill to raise a skeleton to fight for you. Upon accumulating five skeletons, they each explode for 1,000% weapon damage, and the sword transforms into Ashbringer for a short time. Packing with Ashbringer burns your enemy for close to 6,000% weapon damage is holy. Getting hit increases your armor. Yeah, we checked that out already. This is just a, a random legendary. It's not that great. Then we have a legendary gem. Utilized for augmenting ancient legendary items only. Not too sure what the heck this is. The Whisper of Atonement. There's a lot of stuff that I, I don't really understand here. I'll have to look into that. Our bags are going to fill up pretty damn quick. Especially as we uh, start accumulating a bunch of legendaries. We're going to have to do something with them all. I'll try to organize this stuff later. So, should we just keep going for bracers, guys? See what you'll get? Yeah, see what do we you get. Come back again. Got more well, of those. Isn't that, nice? that is too expensive. We got more of the knockback ones. We got the shrines to pile on. And then we got the Lacuni Prowlers. Nothing good there. So get rid of the Lacuni Prowlers. We'll hold on to these for now. I don't know which ones are the best in our in our collection, but we will want to use uh, use them on our or at least one set on our cube. And that should be it for now. All right, so let's keep on going, guys. We'll keep powering up these rifts, collecting gems. We're going to level 39, getting close to Torment 9, guys. A little worried, I must admit. Enemies of the Nephilim. Let's see how this goes. Oh, man, that's damage. Are doing damage yet? Yep, doing damage. Doing damage. Let's get, get going here. Do damage. Oh my gosh. The light grows stronger within you. Really slow. The storm breaks. And the damage. Pretty serious damage. do a lot of damage too, so that's good. Your strength fails. Animal fire. We're really slow. Oh! You know, I just used our health bot. My strength has increased. Gotta try to get that cooldown back. We should take our time, there's no rush. Let's make sure we don't die. Clearly don't have any trouble killing any of this stuff. Just don't really have the survivability, I think. Here. I will not do that. What's going on? Not 
doing any damage. What's your ask shit. is impossible. I'm gonna be weak. I went up this way earlier. There we go. Next floor. Feel the wrath of Yitar! My mind is stronger. <laughs> that could have been bad. Vicious strike. Don't have our health bar here. Trying to do damage again. Health bar. The gods strike through me. The Rift Guardian is here! The Rift Guardian is here! Mother, you have triumphed. All these Legos, man. I'm not gonna know what to do with all of these. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so that's an actual legendary gem. Can we actually upgrade it? Utilize for augmenting agent legendary items only. Cannot be inserted into any items with sockets. It's kind of weird. I wonder how you can upgrade that. And we got the Pain Enhancer. Critical hits cause the enemy to bleed. It's pretty good. I guess we'll upgrade that. This doesn't seem to be upgrading too much. Like It's like by one second now. Maybe we'll just keep upgrading this one. I'm gonna have to get those... To go back. I'm gonna have to get some gems inside our neck and another ring. Your trunk glories in you. All right, now we can probably go even higher. Let's see what we got here. Some nice shoulders. Less dexterity. It has vitality and resist, which is nice. And then the only problem with it is the, the dashing strike damage. I think if we, uh, we roll that, it could be actually better than the, the shoulders that we currently have. Less resist. Like what you want to get is uh, Tempest Rush damage. If they have that, or sweeping wind damage, that'd be good. Let's see if we can change it, see if we get lucky here. Guess we'll go with armor for now. This is one thing about this game, you can just roll for ages and not get what you want. Seven AoE damage. Let's stick with the armor. Sweeping wind damage. There we go. Twelve percent. That's what we want. Now these shoulder, shoulders are hundred percent better, and it gives us a little bit more survivability as well. Sun Wuku paws. I mean, it's too bad we we get four set of this. Every second, sweeping wind spawns a decoy next to the last enemy. You hit that taunts nearby enemies and explodes for a thousand percent weapon damage. Is it your damage taken is reduced by fifty percent while sweeping wind is active? That's pretty good if we can get this two set going. The Sun Wuku's two set combined with the uh, 
the patterns of justice. Because we'll take a lot less damage with uh, when we have sweeping wind up. Let's get rid of these weapons. They don't have any effects. So that was pretty good. Nice little upgrade there. I guess we'll hold on to these. I'll organize the rest later. Starting to get a lot of gems though, so that's good. So what should we do now? Should we just continue... Continue doing Nephilim Rifts and Greater Keys and see how far we can go. Fate smiles on you today. Yeah, I think that's probably the, what we should do. Are you strong enough to survive? Until we get like the gems that we want. And also the uh, we're actually looking for some other effects with nice cube. The weapon one we got is pretty damn good though. Get a better jewelry one in the years or so. I think. Sure was, I kind of wish the the companion you have, the little probe, I wish he picked up gear too. I wonder if there's a companion that does that. Kind of slows you down a little bit. The gods you want the death breaths. That allows us to roll. <laughs> Try to get better rolls on our gear. It's not a very dense uh, level, this time. Barely any mobs. It cannot be done. Oh, yeah. oh, this level's a little bit better now. Your flaws are revealed. More density here. The Rift Guardian has Big larder. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. I am returning to town. Probably turn up the difficulty. T60. Back. I need to go back.
Thing we could do is this stuff here. Should try to get some some caches. We do need the, the materials for our Kanai's cube if we want to extract any more legendary powers. The gods act through me. I will not do that. Break beneath the endless tide! Fight is over. Itar has raised me to new heights. My master has begun. <laughs> Soon demons spawn like you will go forever. Oh. Eternal oh, conflict may come back. The demon spawn shall perish in flames. We didn't frog. Kind of rough. Sort of waiting for uh, frog to go. Tons of gems. All right, set back. To go back. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we can, uh, can do this. this is Torment 9. Greater Rift 42. Unleash your power. Could be a little rough. Oh! Heal. Should I stay in or should I give up? I don't know. Get the health there? Didn't do anything. I'm taking too much damage. Health again? Kinda of dumb that I'm staying in here. Got no health. Man, this is stupid. We need to fight elites. He just healed me again. Some elites. The gods favor me. Killing him, but this is brutal. I don't want to get hit by any of this stuff. Look at the density in here. A lot of density. This fight is over! My path becomes clear. Now we can do this. Just got hit a little hard with this thing. Can you can die though? Ha! A vicious strike. We really need that two set. That decreases our damage taken by fifty percent. My 
strength has increased. Break beneath the endless tide! Back out of there. Over the leg. Make sure you get blocked. Alright, though. The storm breaks! Any damage? The light grows stronger with him. Too, that wasn't too bad. What you ask I thought it was going to be a lot worse. The Rift Guardian. Yeah, the Rift Guardian is. You have so I think we can do E9. Let's see the gem. Damage you deal is increased by 4% for every 10 yards between you and your enemy hit. Maximum 20% increase at 50 yards. It's interesting. Guess we'll keep getting going into pain and answer, I guess. Alright, see what we got. I need to go back. Surprised we were able to do that. Let's see if we got any upgrades here. Some new legendaries. I think we have this weapon. And that's it. Oh yeah, Weaves of Justice. More dexterity, less vitality. Yeah, it's not better. It would be... I, I wish we didn't keep the exploding palm damage on this one, but... I guess we'll hold on to these boots for now. Pylon effects last twice as long. That's a pretty cool amulet. So we're collecting a lot of gems. And doing pretty good. Let's try to get a cash here. We don't have any more uh, keys, so I don't really feel like doing another uh, another rip. Let's try to get a cash done. The portal to the Nephilim Your strength fails. And one thing we can do, we can join groups for this. And try to get a bunch of caches. That'll be a great way for us to get to our Just strike. We get to unlock all these pylons, right? The gods strike through me. And there's one more pylon. Kind of down here. This cannot be opened yet. 
A glorious development. Glorious. I'm coming along, leveling up pretty damn quick. I wonder what Paragon will have when we are able to do Torment 16. Probably close to a thousand, I would assume. Maybe, you know, between, probably between 500 and 1,000. Your flaws are revealed! It cannot be done for this. There'd be more enemies here. There's one of these portal. Uh, portal, these guys can drop as I could easily. When they're poor. How much there is. I will not do that. There's to be some more enemies here. Not very dense. Stronger within you. One thing we gotta get up is our movement speed. Remember where the Sarber guy is? I don't like the look of that. It's all the way down here. Back at this. This fight is over! There's so much stuff they added in Diablo 3 over the years. I wonder what Diablo 4 is going to be like in 10 years' time. Like all the stuff they add to the game. Hopefully it's good. That ability is not yet recharged. Now we killed this guy. We need to... We're even up there to fight him. Oh, look at that blood shark. Lend him. your strength to mine. It cannot be done. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn the difficulty up. Your flaws are revealed. I think we might be able to do ten. Just our survivability is a little lacking. I am returning to town. That's why I like hardcore. Because when you're playing softcore, you don't really care about survivability. At all, unless you're like dying in a in a greater rift, and you're just like not hitting the time because of dying. But in, uh, in hardcore, you die it's over. So I'm a little bit worried about pushing uh, pushing the pace. Guess we gotta go this way. Gotta find the plague tunnels level two. I will not do that. Break beneath the endless tide. Nice fist weapon. Hopefully it's a good one. We are looking for a My new weapon. Has increased. The weapon we currently have, I don't even think it has an, uh, a legendary effect on it. Just using it for the stats. What you ask is endless impossible. Death will consume all. It's a death native. Your soul. <laughs> it's red. I will not do that. Alright, 
finally found it. My path becomes clear. Have to slay all the enemies. Where are the enemies to run? Oh, this is the floor we're supposed to be on. Okay. Oh, got some treasure goblins here. Guitar has raised me to nice. new heights. Feel the wrath of Guitar. I must wait to use that ability. We're not even me. close to getting all it of the, be done. the enemies here. I wonder how many more there are. Your flaws are revealed. I can't carry any more. All right, looks like our need bags are quite back. full. We'll go back and try to see what this legendary is first, though. Maybe we got a blacksmithing pattern as well. Lion's Claw, seven sided strike performs an additional seven strikes. It's pretty good for a seven stride strike, seven sided strike build. But that's not for us right now. Alright, so where is the last uh, quest for this uh, cash? Right down here. Enter the Bogan Warren and the Warren Plain Screech's treasure. What you ask is impossible. Feel the wrath of Yitar. Got screeched out. There's this treasure. Let's head back and see what we got in the cache. I hope we get uh, the ring, but I doubt it. I'll be shocked well, if we have... get it. I think it has to be T10 plus to get the ring that we want, but let's see if we got anything good here. I must Thank lessen my burden. I think you get better rewards if you. Uh, do these, um, try to get these caches at a higher more. torment. Right now we're only you doing like a torment six. Let's see if we can get Don't any more forget, of these. Luck always changes. Oh, we have so many. What are these? Wave of Light also slows enemies by 80%. Well, that's new. Hello there. What? I didn't even know I had that thing. That is too expensive. 4% chance to spawn a Nephilim Glory Globe when you blind an enemy. That's okay. We're gonna have so much gear, this, our, our bank's gonna fill up really fast. I think we already have this weapon, but we'll check it out. Chance on hit to summon a spike trap. Caltrops or sentry. Demon hunter only. Interesting. Well, <laughs> it's, it's clearly not for us. So we'll get rid of that. But our gold is going up quite a bit, and we're starting to collect a lot of gems, which is good. I think before next episode, I'm going to clean up the bags and uh, see what we got here. And maybe we'll, uh, we'll join a, a group to do some of these uh, 
these garage crashes. Yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.